Brennan and Carr has been a staple in Sheepshead Bay for decades. Famous for its hot roast beef sandwiches, George Brennan and Edward Carr opened the restaurant on Nostrand Avenue in 1938. They opened it up as a small takeout place, added on a dining room, and it was a real neighborhood place, and it was the only place in the neighborhood. Current owner Edward Sullivan has been running the place since the late 70s after learning the ropes from his grandma Alice. I remember coming here many years with my grandmother as a little kid on Saturdays, helping her out, and then she'd send me home for some reason because I didn't do something right. Something the restaurant always gets right, the roast beef sandwich. The roast beef is thinly sliced to perfection. And each sandwich, including the bread, is dipped in au jus. This is the secret here to Brennan and Claws. This is our, we call it our beef broth. This goes on the sandwich, either single dip, double dip, sometimes triple dip. Brennan and Carr is a favorite for many. Hey, Russ. Hey, Carrie. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Including Fox 5 sports anchor Russ Salzberg. He grew up in the neighborhood and has been a regular since he was a kid. How long have you been coming here to Brennan and Carr? Roughly 55 years. I think I started in the fourth grade. I've never had one of these sandwiches before, so what am I in for? I know. Trust me, you're in for paradise, all right? <laughs> let's get the guy over and we'll order. Okay, let's do it. How are we doing today? All right, Richie, her first time here, so let's make this happen. Two roast beefs, the gravy, order of french fries, onion rings. So this is the famous sandwich. This is heaven. <laughs> but before you dig in, a little tip from the expert. This is one sandwich you don't pick up and eat with your hands because okay. it's going to be dripping down your neck and you know it's, it's really not ladylike. You no. want to look good on the You want to look ladylike. So it's just a simple case of the old knife and fork okay. cutting into it. All right, I'm excited for this. Of course, the sandwich is just as delicious as Russ said it would be. Russ, that is a good sandwich. So good, Russ now makes the trip to Brooklyn from New Jersey just for a taste. For him, it's a family tradition. My first grandson, I brought him here in, I think it was September, so he was 11 months at the time. Couldn't really woof down a whole roast beef, but we're getting there. And the new one, he'll be like six months by the time the summer comes, so we'll have to put a little taste in his mouth. If you had to guess, how many of these sandwiches have you had in your life? If you line them up, it could take me from here to China. <laughs> Really? You can't even count. If you had to guess. It's 55 years of roast beef. What are you, nuts? <laughs> and since we're here all these years, we get to see people as little kids, and now we see them as grown adults with little kids. And while the neighborhood has changed, this place has stayed the same. The only problem that I ever have here is when to stop. <laughs> Every time I come in, when I walk out, I'm always happier than when I came in. As for Sullivan, he says his grandma would be proud. She'd say we were doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, you know, uh, she would enjoy to see it, you know, the success that we're still here, of course, after all these years. After all these years, still serving up roast beef sandwiches with a side of Brooklyn charm. For The Dish, I'm Carrie Drew. That's not right. I love the roast beef <laughs> and I love Russ. Amazing. <laughs> Two Sheepshead Bay classics. Good stuff.